We're going to look at gut function. We're going to look at three different kinds of gut tests. We're looking at an immune test in your gastrointestinal system. We want to know is that GI mucosa normal? Is there an enzyme reaction with the immune system eating away at your intestinal system? We're going to want to know if you're having reactions to foods that are causing this inflammation of the intestines that will destroy the other 40% of the thyroid thing to turn on, that hormone to turn on. Okay? That's so important. Doctors are commonly not even looking at these. They can't treat it if they're not looking for the right thing. Who am I? I already told you. We're, we're, we look how in detail to look at the thyroid. You can end your thyroid nightmare once and for all if you choose to do the right thing. So what makes us different? We're going to treat you neurologically. We're going to treat you metabolically. Metabolically with thyroids is such an important thing. And we leave no stone unturned. We're going to run specific sensitivity testing, as I said, are there food reaction, reactions to foods in your intestines that produce these immune cells that come out in your stool? Is there a DNA type in your intestines that's causing stress on the hormone balance? Remember earlier I mentioned the neuroendocrine immune axis. If we find that there are immune cells coming out of your intestines, very commonly these sensitivities will cause immune cell uh, proliferation of the body that stress the thyroid and causing you Hashimoto's. If you are taking in a wheat, you, their doctor told you to eat more fiber because you're constipated, irritables or whatever, the fibers that you're eating can be stressing your thyroid. It's that simple. But if you don't test it, you're never going to know it. If a doctor doesn't know how to treat it properly, you're not going to get help. Chronic problems can happen where we have indigestion, we have bloating, we have cramping, we have irritable bowel issues, diarrhea issues, constipation problems. Okay, so we've got to look at that intestinal system. We've got to run another stool test that we do that where we're looking for parasites, we're looking for bacterial problems in the intestines that can cause gut mucosa problems, not allowing the thyroid hormone to turn on. We're going to look at if there are yeast fungus in the intestines, if the intestines are inflamed, if they're permeable. We want to know is that intestinal barrier system become stressed so much where there's a leaky, leaky holes in that intestinal system where parasites and, and, and bad foods and things that, we, that a body doesn't want are getting in the bloodstream and stress that thyroid and stress the brain's pituitary gland which further stresses the thyroid. It can become a vicious cycle. We run complete blood panels. Besides the whole thyroid panel I showed you in the beginning, we're running a complete blood cell count, red blood cells and white blood cells. Are there infections in your system? Are you anemic? If you're anemic, your brain can't get enough of, what, of the nutrients it needs to make that thyroid run normally. You've got to look at all the mechanisms that are connected here. We're running a lipid panel. Your nervous system needs proper fat absorption in order to let the brain run the pituitary gland to run the thyroid. We can assess everything. We also assess your adrenal glands. We also assess your adrenal glands by doing uh, a 24-hour circadian rhythm adrenal stress index. And we're going to test with saliva. We're going to see if you have certain other hormones and, and, and uh, cortisol in particular, DHEA, if your adrenal gland is out of order. And it's either going to be in stage 1 through 7. Either it's, it's, it's a high DHEA level, a low DHEA level. You've got uh, a maladapted adrenal gland, a non-adaptive adrenal gland, phase one or phase two, or your adrenal gland is an exhausted, it's failing, and it can't produce the normal hormones that help regulate blood sugars in the body. That can also stress the brain, that can also stress the thyroid. So we do a very comprehensive blood test. We look for those antibodies. If the TGB and TPO antibodies are not tested, you don't know if you have an autoimmune attack on your thyroid. I have patients who've come in who've shown me their blood test from another doctor that showed there were antibodies on the thyroid and the doctor never changed their protocol. They just kept giving them more medication. Just more Synthroid, folks. Just take another pill. Just let's double up the amount. Uh, let's try more because they don't know anything else to do. If you have these antibodies, they need to be found. You need to know why those antibodies are forming against the thyroid, and you need to suppress that thing from making the thyroid go bonkers, from getting worse. It's so important. So specific thyroid hormones have to be looked at. What other tests are necessary? As I've mentioned to you, adrenal stress index, 
We can help with insomnia problems, blood sugar regulation problems. We want to look at immune panels. Something that's very important, once we find those antibodies on your thyroid, we need to look to see if you have what's called a Th1 or Th2 immune system. A Th1 immune system, excuse me, Th1 immune system is going to tell me that you have a stress in your body that you have this immune dominance caused by certain foods and certain things in your environment that are making your immune system fall on one side of the spectrum or your TH2 where it's on the other side of the spectrum. You may be drinking caffeine and that's worse for your immune system that causes more of an attack on the thyroid. You may be eating a food like a mushroom or taking a cold medicine like echinacea. You may be having a pill that in your vitamins they have a filler like cornstarch or a modified food starch in your ketchup or something that is stressing your, your immune system causing this Th1 or Th2 dominance that causes an active antigen response where your body is constantly firing up the immune system that's constantly firing up these antibodies where the body is eating away at the thyroid. You've got to know which immune pattern you fall into in order to be able to really get down to the root cause of why this is happening in your thyroid, why it's not able to help itself or fix itself with the medications you're on. Again, I said leaky gut syndrome, standard detoxification for the liver. We look at hormone panels. We've got to check all the hormones from the brain down to your reproductive system and everything in between. We do a very expanded male and female hormone profiles. Listen, the majority of thyroid hormone problems, or excuse me, the majority of thyroid problems are female. 90% of the thyroid patients are females. There are 10%, some males do have this. And there are specific reasons for that, which we can get into in personal discussion in the office. But hormone panels are very important because once the thyroid is off, other hormones are going to be off. Once those other hormones are off, your whole neurological, immune, and endocrine whole system is off. And that is important because we've got to get regulate these hormone panels. Libido problems people have because the thyroid's off causing other hormone problems. Mood swings, depression, insomnia can all be caused by these hormone imbalances. Then we do specific neurological testing. We've already talked about some of the metabolic things here. And we have, besides this, but the metabolics, there are specific ways naturally to support your body with natural supplements and sometimes glandular supports for the thyroid or the adrenal with specific dietary approaches. Again, I said get Dr. Detis Karazian's book, why, does, why Do I Still Have Thyroid Symptoms Even When My Lab Tests Appear Normal? Very excellent, excellent book. You've never heard some of this information before. We check your body for oxygen levels and we do oxygen therapy on all of our patients. We can talk about that in person. The brain needs oxygen to function well, the brain needs oxygen to survive. We'd go through a complete brain-based assessment in almost all of these thyroid patients that I've investigated and helped. They all have some brain hemisphericity problems. The right or the left brain is functioning higher or lower than the other side. We need to even that brain signaling out to allow the whole body to function normally. We can't separate brain from thyroid. We can't separate brain from body. It's all one system. Thyroid is not an individual thing that you can just take out and medicate. The thyroid is part of the brain, it's part of the GI tract, it's part of the liver. It's part of everything in the system, part of the immune system. You've got to understand that. The thyroid is part of every system of your body. You can't just take it out and treat it by itself. That's why the treatments are failing. Ask yourself these questions, folks. Ask yourself these questions. First of all, if the information you heard here is different than anything you've ever heard before. And there's, we would take a time, if you came into my office, we'd get about a half hour to be able to really sit down and discuss your individual problems. I can't possibly cover all those in, in a short video that you're seeing right now. But ask yourself, how has your thyroid condition affected your finances, your family, your lifestyle? What has that cost you in time, money, and happiness? Vacation, what is it costing you? libido, intermediate, intimate relationships with your spouse. Where do you picture yourself to be in the next couple of years, two, three, five years, if you don't fix your thyroid problem? Are you going to keep gaining weight? Are you going to still, are you going to have bone density problems? Are you going to, your hair is still going to fall out? Are you okay with that? You're going to get older quicker if you don't fix this thing. What is this worth to you if you can actually find out and fix your problem here in this office? So listen, I invite you, I invite you, you've got a thyroid problem. You'll notice on the screen here, there's an area where you can enter your name, your phone, your address. You'll be able to get that information. Once you click send, that will come to us. We're not going to share your information with anybody. But it'll come to my office. My staff will call you, 
So we'll gladly help to make an appointment with you. We're going to send you a packet of information in the mail. You're going to have to fill out all these assessment forms, gather up all your, your previous blood tests. We want to really see the whole picture where you are, and then take a step back and say, let's look at the whole picture, see what tests we need to run, what we don't need to run. If we need to run them all, we just need to run them all to figure you out. We can do this. Put your information down below. We'll make the appointment with you. I look forward to meeting you.